guys, welcome back to Hermitcraft. This is Tango. We are back here in the base, for lack of a better term. I did a little bit more work. It's not too much, but I added, check it out, I added an upper ring all along the top here. Let me get in the middle here. You can kind of see it better. And like I said, it's not much, but it, it really kind of helps ground what this is going to look like, I think. And it starts to define where the ceiling is going to be. So I'm really liking that. Liking it, liking it a lot. I'm trying to think of what to do on top of it. I think I need to do something before the ceiling starts. I don't know. Got a couple ideas kicking around there, but anyway. How you guys doing today? Everybody doing good, I hope? I hope? I hope? I'm doing pretty good. I am pretty good. I'm having a good week here. Good week. Last episode, we worked on this, which was a lot of work, but it turned out pretty good. I really like it. We got our little cabin. We got our automatic fire that turns on and off in the day, or turns on at nighttime. It only turns off like for like a few minutes during the day, if that. But I may tweak it. A few of you guys said to leave that thing on all the time just because it looks too good. We'll see. To be determined. I did find out, though, a couple of you guys let me know, and I had made some changes here. I did find out that actually two plus layers of snow does stop spawning, and I didn't know that. I actually looked into it looking for just that, and everything I found said that, you know, oh, snow layers don't affect spawning, but... I actually ran into it, did it in a test world and verified it that, yeah, if you have more than two two layers of snow, no spawns. So that solves a lot of the the issues here. I mean, obviously we got like this right here, but for the most part, I, I doubled up a lot in here. You can see there's two on all of this here. I think that's all two. I don't know. I can't tell. But yeah, there's a lot of snow up here now, so that'll help uh, stop spawns. I actually didn't have to do all this lighting stuff, but I kind of like that I did because it, it shows up pretty nice. Uh, I want to do something in here today. I think we need to get a little a little companion here. We, we talked about it last episode, I think. I think I might have mentioned it. We're going to try and do that today, maybe toward the end. Uh, but I want to show you something out here, too, that we accomplished during the live stream. And just to kind of let you guys know, like, the live streams, we have so much fun on Thursday nights. And I know a lot of you guys can't make it, but you can always go to my Twitch channel, which is just Tango Tech, and you can always look at the... The kind of the backlog of uh, basically if I do a stream it stays up there for a week automatically so you can see all the streams I don't need to upload them to YouTube or anything you can just check them out so this tunnel here is officially done okay this is kind of the thing this has been our stream project and I've showed it to you guys a bunch but just the amount of mobs we have here is just absolutely crazy now you guys know we got like you know real quick I'll run down here we got the gas we got which is just amazing we have the Wither Skeleton, we got two Guardians bouncing around, we got Creepers, we got uh, Magma Cubes, we got Skellies, we got Blaze, we got Witches, <laughs> and every one of these guys has just a hilarious story behind him. This guy's got a story, <laughs> he was funny. Uh, the Endermite, uh, the Zombie, the Villager Zombie, <laughs> you think you're all enchanted, look at you. <laughs> We got the villager zombie here, who's just completely decked out. And then last week, or this past week, we got two more. We got the slime, who is back in here again, bouncing around, being happy self. And we got this guy, who is probably one of the most interesting ones. We got an enderman in here, and he's in a minecart, because that's what prevents him from teleporting. But he was a lot of fun. We just had just a crazy amount of fun last week at the live stream. So if you want to see all that derp happening, I encourage you to go check out the live stream. Uh, and then the other thing I want to do here is so many little odds and ends I want to talk about. Like, I gotta get, I still gotta get skulls on top of here, and I got some skulls from AFK and at the Wither Farm, but we'll see. I need to do, I need to do a few more before I'm ready to start wasting them on, uh, you know, just aesthetics like that. Can I get across here? Can I get across here? <laughs> uh, this door. I think we're gonna work on this door in a little bit and fix up all this mess here and get like a good automated system here where you can come in and it automatically dumps you off and the cart automatically loads for the next person to get out and get all that stuff and maybe start some of this entryway here maybe maybe i don't know a lot of little things uh but first though i do want to show you guys a clip that i've already got recorded and it's actually me and monkey farm uh hooked up for a little bit of collab uh which is like the first time that's ever happened monkey farm is a great guy as you guys know if you don't watch his videos he's he does really good stuff um but he was he kind of sent a message to the uh skype channel the for the hermits and he's like hey i'm having trouble linking up some portals so i volunteered because he's in kind of my time zone and he kind of plays at nights sometimes uh but i went over there and uh helped him out so here's that clip check it out all right people i have called in the backups <laughs> <laughs> we've got tango tech here how you um, doing man hey buddy so uh yeah i've i've been having been having a few problems here i'm i'm some I'm syncing up my portals and you got and some overlapping linkage problems with other, yeah i'm i'm it 
I'm all. They sell pills for that, man. You should you should look into that. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, no comment. So, I got a portal over here. All right. And and I put a portal over there, but I can't get them to both sync up in the Nether next to each other. To I make ended the up, magic happen, right? Yeah, I right. ended up in I think one of Falsus portals or something in the Nether. So. Okay. Anyway, so I need help, man. Help all right. me out. <laughs> oh my gosh! What's all going right. on? All right, I think the first step then is let's get the actual co- unless you have them written down already. The actual coordinates of the portals, the X, Y, Z of each of them. Depends how specific do you want them to be, or how yeah, accurate? Pretty, pretty <laughs> accurate, I'd say. The one, the one over there, I have the accurate numbers. The one over here, I'll have to look. Um, okay. So the portal over there is at fifty-one, sixty-six, seventy, eleven, thirty-five. Okay, that just went in one ear out the other. So we'll write yeah, them down yeah. in a second. But I, I've got that one written down. Okay, good. Uh, the one over here. I don't know what, but we can look, obviously. We can figure that out. Yeah. Whoa, hey, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> you were just in, running along there and disappeared. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, You're I supposed to hold, hold shift, space, right? you hold space you when you oh. land so you don't yeah, injure see, yourself. I'm a yeah. noob. If you shift, you injure yourself. If yes. you hold space, you're, you're Space is the, the safe fall, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I love this place, man, by the way. I love the stonework. Thank I miss you. building with stone. Yeah, it's my favorite. It is. I, it's mine, too. And stone I bricks. Like, I used Every to overdo it. Stone bricks. Kind of like mumbo, you know. I used to overdo it, and now I try to avoid it, but it's still the best. Yep. Stone and wood is still good. this dark wood. Yep. Yeah. Love it. Good stuff. All right. But so this is the portal. other destination one here. Yeah, I've got okay. a portal in here. Actually, I have two portals in here, and the problem is they both show up here <laughs> at the base we just looked at. Okay. I would like this portal, whether to we have to move it or not, to go to the island. Yeah. Okay. So. All right, well, then I think, I don't know, all I would do is let's get the world coordinates of both of them and do a little uh, mathetization and get this uh, linked oh, up Oh, we have to do maths? Maths, maths are oh, involved, yes. Oh, There's right. like this division oh. thing. And... All right. <laughs> all right, let let's get, do that. Let me get we'll... my abacus out real quick. And, um, <laughs> all right, and we'll get slide the beads across. All right. Yeah. All right, let's cool. do that. We'll cut and come back with some possible solutions, maybe. Right on, man. All right, let's do it. All right, we're back, people. Um, wow, portal grueling science. work. Grueling portal science. work, my friend. <laughs> grueling math. Maths Ooh. and portals and, and all sorts of... <laughs> witchcraftery, <laughs> yes. Yes, witchcraftery. <laughs> but I, um, we, 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 I think we made some good progress, I right? think so, I think so. We yeah. tested one over here, right? Yeah, yeah. You were the guinea pig on this one. We were afraid you might end up in some kind of alternate universe. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. You yep. came back... Yep, so now yep. the debate is whether we leave this one essentially here, maybe line right. it up, or I think we might be able to nudge it a little ways over here. It's up to you whether you want to try that or not. We can we can try it. I mean, both of these are working right now, at least. Right. We have a, we have a tell. fallback. So, yeah. Aww. Obsidian <laughs> blocked. <laughs> All right. And then we want to break right. this one for the legit test. Yeah, I guess we should. All right. Go ahead. So Fire this one, this one should go back to the base. Where I wouldn't use from. the word "should." That's a strong word. This one we, will. We hope it definitely, will most definitely, it will go back. Yes. Um, Went to the oh, base. there's there's a pig man in here. <laughs> All right. I guess that's a bonus. Yep. Now the return trip. And Excellent. I am back. Excellent. Okay. So now, as long as this one still goes to the island, back. Yeah. Yeah. Still test that. Go ahead and test that one again. You don't want to. You don't want to try it. I'll come. I'll come on. Are you afraid? I am a little afraid. <laughs> I don't want. Because if you're if if we make a mistake here, there's like a oh. five minute walk. Yeah, it works. No, we're good. We're here. All right. This is the island. The island that I haven't seen so much of yet. It's big. It's very large. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff above us, and I'm working Crazy. on having stuff below us too. But uh, so vacuuming so me, out the water is. Yeah. Give is, me the give me the nickel tour here. What's uh got a little the five mob cent system. tour? Yeah, the five cent tour. The front is out to your right, and out here. There you go. Um, I have a a TNT firework detection intruder system oh, uh, right there. Oh, 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 I like so that. I'll keep that in mind next time. I'm with the, boat. the problem is the <laughs> the, uh, the squid are setting it off all the time, so I think somebody's well, here, and then <laughs> it's, it's the price we pay for security, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to gonna have to work on that a little bit, and then up here we have um, the mob farm. Well, oh. no, the the mob farm is way up there in the Death Star, which you can't actually see from here. You could see it from from wow, okay. uh, over there. Wow, the how long did that ceiling take you, man? That's crazy. 
Yeah, that one, it took a while. That was painful in survival, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was I fun. like the color teams, though. <laughs> Thanks. Good stuff. And then, of course, there's the Death Star mob sonar way up there above it, uh -huh. which you can see, like, the corner of it. I can just see the, out, the tip of it. Yeah, you can see it better edge, from, yeah. the, from the base Pla over there. Placing a torch on every single block, that was the fun part of that. Now, is that you just for looks or... Just for uh, well, I wanted I wanted to be able to see it at nighttime from the other side of the, that the lake. That is an adequate job of lighting, I would say. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, so I never really have to go up there. It runs all the time. I can shut it off, but then down here right. is just the mob switch where I come and get the loot whenever I want bones yeah. or arrows or gunpowder or whatever. I just flip the switch and bam. Oh, and it just like falls out? Yep. All right, give me some but I've got the gunpowder. I got the sorting system up there, and it just drops it. Takes a while because gravity, you know, is gravity is far, and stuff. far away. Check it yeah. out. Yeah. Now, is that being shot out of a dispenser or are those like live drops that are somehow? No, uh, yeah, dispenser. So I have okay. the storage system is up there, and then it just drops out. Nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. That's um, that's pretty much it, actually. Very cool. <laughs> All right, should we check to see but... if this portal actually still works then? <laughs> yeah, you can go first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Victory! Whoa, we're back. Nice. See, wow, not so we bad. Didn't, we didn't end up in the uh, in the Nether Fortress where my other portals were ending up. <laughs> yes, hey, I, you're Sweet. talking about like joining up with like false's portals and stuff. I have no idea what you're talking about, but didn't happen, yeah. so we're good. Yeah, cool. Right on, man. Right. Well, yeah, it was fun to finally get you over here and visit the base. Absolutely, I know. It's but, like the first time yeah. we actually done a, a mini collab. We need to do more, especially yeah. since you're not living in UK like everyone else on the server. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, all right, man. Good stuff. Cool. All right, man. Well, thanks. Um, you gonna head back? Or you gonna hang out for a bit? Uh, I'll head back. I got other <laughs> right. stuff I need to work on. Right on, right. man. Thanks. Talk to you later. All right, we are back. We are back, and I want to get started now. Uh, like I said, I want to fix up this rail track system here and get a nice little drop-off system here, a nice pickup system, just so we don't have to worry about carts in here, because this is a mess. Look at this. It's all butchered up here and everything. Uh, and I want to also, I got to fix the lava, get it all back in, of course, and get, uh, I want to get like a manual kind of, because there's a lot of times we come through here on the stream and stuff where we're just on foot and we have to ender pearl through and stuff. So I want to put some pressure plates, I think, and hook those up to the system as well as like a double way to trigger it so that you can just walk through too. And, uh, what else? What else? Uh, oh, and then I may, I may, <laughs> I forgot. I may start to do some of the interior here. We'll see how it goes. But first thing I need to do is kind of clean this up a little bit and start dropping a lot of sand here. You know, just kind of do this thing. You guys know this trick here to kind of make the lava go away so that I can, uh, I have a little bit of area to build here. So let me clean up and get a little, little pallet established and we'll get started. Okay, I cleaned things up a little bit and we should have just enough space here to, to do what we need to do. Uh, all right, we're gonna make a little minecart drop-off system here and you know connect it with it. This is the drop-off and this is gonna be the the launching area here. This is a, a design I kind of I just threw it together myself um, So I kind of know what I'm doing here, but kind of don't at the same time if that makes sense All right, uh, I didn't follow any tutorials or anything. So this probably isn't the most efficient one out there But whatever it's mine. So that's what makes me happy. All right, so minecart's gonna be in the Out of the way Minecart's going to be in the dropper or the dispenser there, and it's going to be uh, launched up onto the uh, track there, and then when the track is powered, it's going to be pushed off there. You guys know how that stuff works. All right, so we're going to put a tripwire there, and then another one back. Well, let's see. We want to get dust into that guy like that. It's a little bit spacious in the back here, but mostly because I want it to be completely flush on the outside. I don't want, I don't want you to be able to see anything. But also, it was kind of difficult for me, actually, to be able to power the the dispenser independently of powering the tracks here. So that's how I'm doing it is by powering this block here because when you power that block, it powers the uh, the two powered tracks there. All right, so that, and then we need a torch to invert that. And then let's see, uh, that there, that there, okay. Dust, dust, all right, so that's gonna be the kind of inversion system here. Oh, let's get the other, let's get the other one of those guys and string, all right. String and bam. Okay, so that's hooked up. So you'll see now you come in here and boom that turns that power off And when I leave is when it's gonna power you hit a little click there. So nothing and then oh actually Why is that? Why is that powering? Oh Because <laughs> I hooked this side up. 
Uh, I'm so smart. All right, so yeah, this power, this side over here is for powering the, <laughs> I can't believe we did that, powering the track, and this side there is for powering the dispenser. So boom, that powers into that block, the track fires, and then when I leave, the torch kicks back on and powers the minecart there. So I'm liking that, I'm liking that. I'll probably get some stairs and stuff. Let's just actually make sure, I'll get it hooked up and then we'll, we'll make sure it's actually, and then I'll make it look good at the end. All right, so we need to do, let's see, let's, that's working, let's do the, what do you call it over here, the, uh, the drop-off system. So, for that we need another little rail jobber there, and then we need the hopper. The hopper is going to go, let's see, alright, so they're going to, it's going to drop in the hopper there, and then go underneath here, and into that uh, dispenser there. So, that's why I didn't want to have a dispenser, like, up there pointing onto the rail, I wanted to have it below, so that it's on the same level here, so... Uh, the hopper return system is actually fairly kind of kind of trivial here, which is a good thing. Hopefully there's... Okay, good. <laughs> I was wondering if there was going to be exposed lava under here or not. Uh, that's going to burn my face if I do that. And that. Okay. So hoppers shifted that one into the side, and then these are all just chained together. Again, this is all going to be under... Out of the way, pork chop. <laughs> and all right, shifting over here. That one is going that way, so now I should be able to break this. And do that one there, so... Okay, and then that one's going there. Perfect. And then, another little track right there, which will take the curve. Sand. All right, we got some sand going down here. I'll make a little... I'm doing this basically to fill out the lava, but also I need sand to put the cactus on. So, there we go. All right, I did remember a cactus. Okay, good. Almost forgot it. Almost forgot it. Be gone, ugly nether brick. All right, there... And that's basically it. So let's see here. If I do a minecart now, and let me get some uh, powered rails in here. Power powered. No. What is this? Oh, this is all the nonsense from the from the dog relocation plan. <laughs> all right, that. And now, all right. If I do this now, he should run down here, hit the cactus, get sucked up by the hopper before the cactus destroys it. Go blah, 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 and then go into the dropper over there. So let's just check it out. You go. Boom, disappear, and we should have you in... Let's see, I can cheat, I can cheat. Ha-ha, yes! All right, perfect, perfect. Let me throw in... Oh, and then they're just showing how it works. And then I'll just go ahead and slide that back there. So that's basically it. Now the tripwire is there, so obviously when I when I click in here, it's like, boop. Well, if that was back a little bit. Let me, let's, let's try that again. All right, this guy is going to be right there. All right, now I'm going to click in here. Boom. And what did I do wrong? Why is that not working? Oh, because I, I didn't put my block back. There we go. It helps. All right, that block is key there. Now, boom, power, and we're off. Good. Oh, that piggy's having a bad day. All right, so there, we're looking. <laughs> Every time I see little pigmen run, it just makes me happy. Okay, we can do a little bit of stairs. I don't even know if this is really necessary now. Uh, I can do full blocks here, I think. Yeah, there's no reason that can't be full, full. And then, all right, so did I get enough slabs? I didn't get enough slabs. Urgh, I'll have to go get more slabs, okay. Uh, let's see, we'll do this, that, and then I want to get slabs. I'll just do some of it here. So we'll, I missed, missed. I'm gonna do slabs like that, and then I'll just do full blocks. I would normally do slabs here to conserve, but because I have these on me, and then there. All right, so that's gonna be the staircase. You're not even gonna know the system's there. You're gonna walk right over the hoppers. And then, let's see, this is gonna be kinda concealed and lead right into there. So we're gonna have like an arching hallway here, which I kind of like. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet though, so we'll see. And then, all right, I think I can get like a slab there. Perfect, okay. Uh, all right, let me tighten this up a little bit here and then there's one, oh, actually, let me do that other thing now. So every time you do this, there's always, you always inevitably run out of carts and it's kind of annoying. So I wanna add my own little extra thing kind of here. Let's see, uh, this is probably not gonna be, this is gonna be wasteful, but whatever, don't care, don't care. And you're going there. Alright, so I'm making another little uh, area of hoppers here. And double chest. And right there and there. Okay, and I'm going to basically fill that up with uh, minecarts as well. You know, just minecarts for days. They're going to minecarts and all the hoppers. Everything's going to be completely filled up to the rim. So that as people start stealing minecarts, because that's inevitable, it always happens, there'll be plenty in here to kind of refill the system and keep it all, keep it all going, which I think is a good thing. So... All right, let me close all this in and start to make it look a little bit pretty. See how it looks. Oh, man. All right, I finally got everything working here and a little bit of a hallway done. Nothing really important yet, though, but I had to rework some stuff here. Basically, I got these little pressure plates hooked up, those and those. So these should fire the system manually now to do a little rewiring down here. Uh, but the problem I had, which was like stumping me for a while, is 
the uh, the launching system here was going. It was triggering the the sticky piston. It was pushing you up on the slime block and everything. But you just didn't have enough speed, so you're just kind of like, eh, eh, it, and you just fall like right there. So what I had to do is push the uh, the detector rail back in a little bit more, use one powered rail there and another one here. That one extra powered rail there gets you up to like top speed, I guess, and you blast right on through. So we're all good here. We're all good. Uh, and I had to tweak some stuff over here. There was just tweaking. Tweaking was happening everywhere. But I think we're good now. So I'm going to go ahead and close it all up and let's see, make sure this one still works. All right, we're looking good there. Close this one up here. Bam, 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 bam. And a little bit of bam bam. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think it's time to put the lava in. So I grabbed a couple buckets and let's see. We'll do you and a sand pillar up here. Okay, I guess that's probably good. And I think I should be able to do this with just two buckets if I don't burn myself to death. We'll do one and that's going to go there. So we'll do one there and one there. And that should go over to that one. All right. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> the wall is there. Boom. Love it. I love this door. By the way, if you guys don't know, this is a this lava door. I have a tutorial on my channel. I know I've kind of mentioned it a few times, but if you guys are just catching up now, then there is a full t uh, tutorial for this lava door on my channel, which is pretty cool. Uh, all right. So this guy. All right. I got a chest back here, like I said, filled it up with mine cards, and through my testing, it's already emptied out. We got the the... Cactus catcher mabob thing there, and it loops back, and everything. Everything's nice. I got this all nice and tight in here, all closed off, and everything. Give me a cart, thank you. So let's try it. Let's see if I let's see if I can make it through without without dying. Let me get one of these uh, on my bar here, just in case. <laughs> all right, here we go, and test run, go. Whoop whoop whoop! Ah, oh, the fire in the face. I didn't like that at all. Didn't like that at all. <laughs> All right, so what happened? I I was going too fast. No. What happened? Let's try that. Let's try that again. Why isn't there a cart there? There should be a cart there. Hmm. All right, that's not working either. Cart me. <laughs> uh, all right, is this going to burn my face again? Yes, it sure is. Okay. Ah, oh, <laughs> needs more work. Needs more work. Back to the drawing board. All right, much better. I think I got it now. I had to make a couple minor tweaks. I basically had to change the repeater d uh, delay down here because the door was opening too quick, and by the time you got there, the lava was already pouring down. So fix that and change the delays on that. And then over here, as far as why the uh, the minecart wasn't coming out, it was it was trying to put the minecart minecart out too soon while you were still on the track. So I changed it to go through like a little triple repeater delay system down here. Uh, which means the minecart comes out much later and you're long gone by that time. So it should be working here. So I said that last time. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Give it a test run. Go. Perfect. Uh, uh, little hitch there. And I want to I try this way too. <laughs> this door is awesome. I want to try it this way. Do I still have a minecart? Okay, good. No, that's torches. Good, good. And you. I broke that track just to prevent backsliding. All right, go. And then. Excellent. And drop off. Oh, okay. Perfect. It, it caught it. The, the hopper caught it. All right. We're done here. And I'm kind of bummed because we're running out of time here. But you know what? I'm just, I'm literally just being inspired. Like, I just want to keep building. I want to build this whole room out now. So I really think next episode, I'm going to do some planning and we're going to start making this a complete room here instead of just open to the, to the nether. <laughs> no more gas balls in our face. I'm going to, I'm going to do this room up right. I don't know what the idea is going to be yet, but I'm just going to start building. We're going to see what happens. So uh, that's gonna do it for today. I didn't have time to move the doggies either. Ran out of time. This I spent way too much time trying to get all this work, and it's just bleh. But the door is good though. I'm really happy with how it turned out. So next time, maybe I'll get the doggies going. Maybe we'll do that in stream. I don't know. But uh, definitely gonna be playing with this room and making it a complete entry area and uh, housing for our our portal area here. But that's gonna do it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Tango out.